was set up 30 years ago in, uh, by three brothers who came from Syria. And they had a knowledge of, in, in their own country of casing, how to produce it, and so there was an opening here in Ireland. Their output would have uh, gone from uh, six or seven employees to um, almost 70 now uh, here today as part of the plant. years in Lebanon and after that he went to Syria, worked from 1970 to 1977, 78 and after that go to Turkish, worked about two or three years. I go to France about uh, half year, I don't know exactly how many. And after that he come to Ireland 1980 or 1981, exactly 1980, 1981. And he started here and he worked uh, about uh, two years. And after that, he go and bring his brother about uh, both, yeah both yeah and work from 1982 until now in Ireland. Casing, as you know, is the the, the intestine of the of the of the lab, lab sheep. So what we do is we when the animals are, are slaughtered, the, that's removed. So it's clean there and it's um, a lot of the, the, the contents are removed so it's lighter for transport, it's placed into barrels, it's refrigerated and salted so that it can have obviously the shelf life will, will, will extend as a result of that. Now the casing then is then loaded up onto company vans and it's sent in here and then we will process it according to what we do is we will, we will measure it, uh, what we call it, select it. Um, we measure it into different grades, whether it's 18 to 20, 20 to 22, up to, up to 28 uh, millimeters. And also that there's different grades and that you've got an AB quality, which, is, which would be the best quality, which would have the least amount of holes and we put in a really strong case as well. Um, there could be a number of things. You could have sheep by nature could be eating little pebbles you know, through the grass and that could, that could damage the case and also in the initial cleaning process uh, at factory level there are pulleys which um, pulleys can, can damage just little and small tears in the case and now when the sausage manufacturer gets you know the AB quality he avoids you know waste or whatever from holes and, and the meat. The individual tables that we have here at Iman Casing are numbered accordingly so we have tables 1 to 40 and every table is allocated a specific batch of casing so our traceability is maintained. So each individual ring that we have represents the table that the operator is working on. At present this table 11A represents table 11A. Now that, that stays with the, the product until it gets to the end user. And this, uh, this allows us to have real genuine traceability on all the casings from the abattoir right down to the, to the last hank that's produced in our factory. The process of measuring the casing is quite an intricate skill which we have here in Iman Casing. This operator will measure the casing out into 70 metres, 80 metres or 90 metres depending on the specification. Now it's quite a, an intricate and complex task in which he does. He starts off with five casing and he will calculate during the actual measuring technique which you're seeing now, he will calculate by the feel of the casing, whether it's five or four or three or two casing strands, how many lengths he has. So it's quite a, an intricate skill in which we have here. Now this, this operator is with the company over 15 years. So as you can see at the moment, it's quite a very interesting skill that he has. He goes from five down to four, even to three casing and he also can count half meters, quarter meters of casing. From the quality control point of view when we test the casings for their length it's always within a meter or a half a meter. This is a salting area here at Iman Casing and we have the hanks which are salted and the procedure for salting it is we put salt over the top amount of the casing first, turn it and then put more salt into it as well. So you're looking at approximately 30 percent salt in this individual hank that hank then is further dried. It's put into baskets which are dried overnight and this will be packed away tomorrow. The 
This is our spool process in which the casings are guided onto a plastic sleeve which can facilitate the sausage manufacture even better than dry salted or in brine solution. As you can see, it makes it very easy for the end user to process. As the casings are untangled, the casing is guided onto a plastic sleeve which is used in the sausage manufacture. From this location I can access Safeco 360, all the specs, all the customer information is all accessible here. The staff have training files are all here. Uh, any issues I need to put in at this point can be entered into the into the factory um, uh, database right here down the factory floor so you're not going back in and out to the office all day. So it's very handy. So the paper-based system which we used obviously you know paper-based system while well, it's, it's okay in, in theory but you, you, you can't forget to do things, and like every quality manager will tell you that. that some days are there's different events that happen down the floor that you, you, you tend to forget to do different. It's just the nature of human being we, we, where we make mistakes. Yeah. But I think with with a, with a system that prompts you what you need to do, I just take a section of my day and get all of that done.